Well, it has been 51 years and the 10th Calder winner for the Toronto Maple Leafs is Austin Matthews. Congratulations. When you put it into a historical perspective for this franchise, what does it mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, uh, you know, just being a Toronto Maple Leaf, an original six team, uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a pretty big honour to just play for a team like that. So uh, you know, definitely a pretty special night. Now you kicked it off back on October 10th in Ottawa with a four-goal night. Uh, the expectations were certainly before that and then were enhanced on that night. Uh, what's it been like playing in Toronto where not only on the team but on yourself that there are expectations that go with wearing that uniform and the number? Yeah, like you said, yeah. it uh, just kind of comes with the territory. So um, you know, I think all us, us young guys, we kind of embrace it and enjoy it. We're a young team and um, you know, we're looking to get better to hopefully achieve our ultimate goal. So it's fun. And that means moving on as well and getting into the playoffs again. How important exponentially do you think the experience was to, to have those six one-goal games against Washington? It was really, uh, really important for us. It was nice to get a taste of that. But, um, you know, it's, it's a new new year coming up and, um, you know, we've got to be ready. Everybody's got to um, be dialed in because it's not easy to make the playoffs as, as we saw this year. We kind of, I don't want to say snuck in, but uh, it was pretty close. So, um, you know, definitely going to be an exciting it's exciting year. And you look uh, amongst your teammates, uh, six other rookies, as many as maybe a couple more coming up this time around. Is there a comfort uh, brotherhood in arms, uh, for lack of a better term, when you look at all of you below the age of 23? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And it's not even us. I think everybody, even the, the older guys like Bozak and JVR, everybody's mm -hmm. super close. So um, it's definitely uh, you know, a good thing to have. And um, you know, everybody uh, being so tight with each other and you know, hopefully it kind of translates to on-ice success as well. Yeah, speaking of on-ice, it's 110 degrees out there. Uh, what's, what's your off-ice regimen been like as you get ready to ramp things up before you head back to Toronto in, in August? Yeah, just um, I've been working out, started skating uh, a little bit more over the last couple of weeks, but um, you know, I thought it was pretty important for me to take a couple of weeks off after the season. Um, you know, playing a lot of games, kind of, uh, you know, your first season in the NHL, a busy summer. So um, rested up a little bit and then kind of got back into the swing of things. So, you know, I'm feeling really good. Excited mm -hmm. for the season. All right. Well, congratulations yet again. Congratulations to your family. They're proud. Thanks, honey.